In this episode, Guy Nixon talks about roads in our area that, in his opinion, are woefully inadequate for access and egress in the event of wildfire activity. Many, in his estimation, should be considered hazardous to the lives and equipment of firefighters. I'm standing on a national forest road. It's on national forest maps. It's in the El Dorado National Forest. You would think you could get fire trucks in here to fight a forest fire. It would be a death sentence to the firefighters. As you can see, I'm surrounded by a tunnel of brush. You would never want to bring a fire crew in here. You could never bring a fire vehicle in here because the heat from this would destroy the vehicles, kill the people. So even though we have roads in the National Forest, many areas have gone to the point where there's no way you can deploy them. It's not possible. You are putting those people's lives in danger. And of course, private properties nearby to try to protect those homes becomes almost impossible. How can the firefighters get in here and fight the fire? Because you, you can't walk through this, you can't move through it. It's too narrow to get the equipment. It is literally throwing them into a death trap. This is something we're going to have to address. I, I don't care which way you come in on politics or global warming or whatever. If the firefighter was your son or daughter, I wouldn't send him down this road. I don't want to kill him, and I don't think you do either. This is something that needs to be treated. It is a disaster waiting to happen. Now here is a county road and it happens to go through a piece of BLM land. As you can see, it's overgrown. I've got manzanita 12 foot high. Uh, there's power lines going over atop all this manzanita brush and everything. The Bureau of Land Management doesn't have the money to maintain their land, their property. So as a sense, there's lots of homes that because of the way the funding is done, Land management hasn't happened. Now they put out fires for 78 years right here, and now we have this pile of stuff. Now according to the law, you the citizen, even with a permit, cannot cut green material on public land. That is well intended, but in this case, trying to get through the red tape, the problems, in parts, many parts of El Dorado County, Placer County, Amador County, the roads are, are encroached. They're, 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 they're thick as it's a tunnel to try to drive through it. In the event of a fire, any fire, and especially something wind-driven such as Paradise, here's a paved road, but are you going to run the fire vehicles up in here if you have a high wind, embers, and fuel loads like this on both sides of the road? it would be lethal for the vehicle to try to get through these roads. Many of the dead people in the Paradise Fire were driving down roads that were just as good as this. The problem was you can't drive through this if you have this on fire. It will kill the car, it will kill you, you cannot get through it. This is part of the reason it's a disaster waiting to happen. It's not that we don't see it happening, but you can't cut it for legal reasons, and they can't cut it because they don't have the funding to do anything about it. It's something that we need to address. As a society, as a country, it just is.